Well, next tonight, we're after your views on hotbeds of culture in our region. We're asking, should your town be the new capital of culture and why? Now, the reason we're asking is that the UK's next capital of culture could be Chorley. Yeah, the Lancashire town that's the home of the Chorley cake is now in the running for this prestigious title. Mr Crone went to find out if the people that live there think they stand a chance. Chorley. No doubting it's a lovely Lancashire market town, but does it really have enough culture to stave off the likes of Gloucester and Cheltenham? At Chorley FM, they've culture coming out of their ears. Good morning, Chorley FM. Good morning. I'd like to comment on the capital of culture. Go on then, mate. What do you think? Do you think it's a good thing for Chorley? Do you think it's a bad thing for Chorley? There's 29 candidates already on the Who list. Who are we up against? Uh, we are up against today Aberdeen. Ha! Barnsley, ah! uh, Belfast. Are you having a laugh? Comedian Steve Royal is appearing at the Chorley Little Theatre later this month and believes a European connection is the key to success. You've got your Whittle Le Woods, you've got Clayton Le Woods, Dave Spikey, famous comedian from here, middle name Lee. Not a lot of people know that. Dave Lee Spikey. Culture, surrounding buildings, flowers, uh, natural happy people. I don't think Chorley has it, no. And it's other countries, isn't it? Surely culture. I've been to the ballet. You've been to the ballet? In where? Manchester. The ballet? Yeah. The oh, ballet, yeah. Do you like all, um, yes. all that? Yes. Yeah. And the men lifted them up. All right, all right. <laughs> that's not culture, that's just filth, <laughs> anyway. Thank you very much. It's not just the buildings, it's the people as well, because there's different kinds of races, different kinds of people. Is there anybody who will stand upon the Chorley plinth to extol the virtues of Chorley? Don't all rush at once. Today would help, or this week, this year, a fiver to anybody that will get on the Chorley plinth. Chorley has moved with the times, but at the same time hasn't gone down the route of many other cities and towns. We still have that little individual touch. Filling <laughs> all. Thank, thank heavens you came along. There's your fiver for yeah, charity. Sure. It's who the other people. You'll give it to Alzheimer's, that's Brill. Give us a kiss. It's got the best people. Uh, it's got the best pubs, it's got the best karaoke DJs. Since when was karaoke culture? Karaoke? Oh, come on. Give us a song. Go on, Paul, give us a song. <laughs> Go on, I'm putting you on spot now. <laughs> oh, well, we run out of time. Oh, that, well, that's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Paul Croner, Grenade Reports, Chorley. Oh, thank goodness we've run out of time yes. before he started singing. <laughs> Indeed, and that 